Hello, welcome to another episode of Dodger's Trips. I'm Dodger. And I'm just taking this opportunity to have a quick video, a quick video of the weather here in Jaipur. So this is day six in India. And it's the first rain we've had. And there's thunderstorms and it's good fun. But uh, Sandra's been poorly uh, for the last day. Um, Couple of days. Uh, all her eyes and around her, her eyelids, underneath her eyes and the side of her nose is all swollen up. And um, so this morning we went to a hospital in India. I thought I'd tell you about that because I was very impressed, really impressed by their service and their efficiency. We we went to a um, we went to a, a private eye hospital, and the fee for seeing to be for the consultation was five hundred rupees, which is five pounds sterling. And for that, um, she got full eye test, all the machines and everything, lens tests on the current, you know, her eyesight and everything, for just as if you were going for an eye test. All that. Then we went upstairs, uh, waited about 10, 15 minutes, and we went into the consultation room with, with the doctor, who was a, a nice specialist. Uh, she gave Sandra a quick, you know, look into her eyes. There was no sort of foreign objects in her eyes. Um, just going outside a bit, it uh, might be slippy underneath here. But yeah, the uh, went outside, uh, went upstairs. Sorry, I uh, saw the the, the specialist. Uh, no foreign objects in her eyes or anything like that. Uh, so it's basically an allergic reaction to the atmosphere here in India. So we've got she's got some drops. She's got some tablets. Hopefully that'll clear up. So she's just having a little lie down at the moment and. Out of all the days we've been here, this is probably the best day for her, you know, to, to see the doctor and just stay inside. Oh, all this, all this rain is going to be good for the atmosphere anyway. It's going to set, set up, ground all the dust that's in the air. Um, so it can only help her going forward now. So we move on tomorrow to Agra, uh, the city with the Taj Mahal. So, of course, we're really looking forward to that. But I'm off on the rooftop here and... Uh, just thought I would show you, you know, the cityscape of uh, Jaipur in the rain. From our hotel room, this is basically, the, you know, the view we've got. So it's mainly private houses, private apartments. So they've all got roof terraces. And this lady down here, she feeds the pigeons regularly. So that's why there's so many on that roof. She's fed them about three times today. Um, so yeah, everybody's got sun terraces and everything. This this time of year in India, it's basically just coming out of winter. So they don't get a lot of rain in winter. They tend to have their summer when we have our summer, but of course the temperature are extreme and the, uh, with the rainfall when it does come is, is monsoon season. So uh, this is a light shower, I guess, uh, for, for India. But, it's interesting in Venice to see everybody going about tuk-tuks, driving around the streets, etc. Uh, there's monkeys on rooftops. It's, <laughs> it's good. Everything's different and that, that's what we like about this holiday. It's so different to the UK. So there we are. I hope you like that, uh, that look over the cityscape of Jaipur. Um, the gentleman here is just... Clearing the water from the downfall. Hello. Hello. Hi there. Hello. Hi, uh, say hello. Yeah. <laughs> and this this is a swimming pool. Nice weather for ducks. Oh, we can even go up this extended staircase here. I can imagine on the 
The other two days that we had in Jaipur have been really warm sunshine, so about 22, 23 degrees, full sun. So a nice summer's day in Britain and just nice for us. You know, walking the streets, what the bazaar, bazaars in Jaipur, which we've really loved and enjoyed sort of meeting people, chatting with people. And everybody in India is so friendly, at least so far. We've had, we've had kids coming up to us, out, just out of the blue, not asking for money or anything, just saying thank you for visiting India. So isn't that nice? And then like last night we stood waiting for our driver to come back and someone just walked past, didn't engage in any conversation, just as he was passing, he just said, uh, sorry, what did he say? I forgot. <laughs> oh, welcome to India. Welcome to India, he said, just out of the blue. You know, I mean, you'd never get that in the UK, would you? People here, and when they speak, they, they speak, you know, with great humility, they're softly smoking. There's none of this sort of aggressive attitude that you get in the UK, and which I don't like. So, uh, yeah, there we are. So, just gonna go back down to the room now. Uh, but I hope you just like that that quick look there, and uh, my experience of the the oh the Indian hospital um, experience, I suppose. Um, yeah. So we, we the consultation fee to have the full eye test. To be seen by a specialist it was all done within 45 minutes i would say literally 10 minutes 15 minutes waiting to see the consultant was was the only waiting time uh, so it was all very efficient and we she so got the, the two items um which which we paid for and that was two pound 30 230 dps so for two items, two pound thirty. And what was it in the UK? I don't know what they, what they charge for. Is it? It must be nine or ten pound per item, and five pounds. So seven pound forty altogether. Private hospital, full eye test, consultation with a specialist, and the medicine. Seven pound thirty. Okay. Okay. Then. Well, till the next one. Bye.